Lawrence asked me to talk about some of the exciting new things that are happening for the Gen 2 units, and that includes the HDS touchscreens as well as the HDS regular screens. Um, what this is, is the 2.0 version of the software. Now the first cool thing about it is, is that it's available for free. You simply go to Lawrence.com, download the upgrade, and then put it into your unit, and you'll have this stuff absolutely free on your existing units. So let's talk about some of the features that are out there. The first one is just kind of a, I'll call it a cool feature, and that is, is that you can set up what's called a go-free wireless uh, network within your boat. And so basically what you do is you take and you, you get this uh, go-free system, you're going to connect that up to your Ethernet networking, add a little bit of power onto it, and it's going to set up a wireless network within your boat. What that allows you to do is then connect to your, either your smartphone or say your iPad, and actually see what's happening on the screen exactly what's happening here. So with the HDS touchscreen, it's actually got a little bit more feature in that not only can you mirror it, but you can actually then control this unit also right from your iPad. With this one over here, you can simply mirror it. Now, now where's that cool? Say I was out on the lake, uh, I see a bunch of fish on my screen, I want to show my buddy it, I could quit do a screen capture on my iPad, I could then text it over to them. I'm just giving you a little hint of what might be coming in the future. It's just very, very cool stuff to have a network within the boat and be able to do a lot of different things. So the next feature, and basically this is the big one, is that there is now chart sharing. And what that means is that in any unit on your ethernet, you can basically put one mapping chart and it shows up on all of them. You'll notice that in this HDS12, there's no mapping chips. But yet, it's showing up with detailed data here from a Navionics chip that's actually over in my other unit on the Ethernet. So this means with one card, any of the units that have this Gen 2 2.0 update is going to be able to see the mapping data, just put it in one unit, they'll all be able to see it on the Ethernet. So now the second really important feature for us fishermen is something they call contour shading. And basically what that is is allowing you to see a certain depth on your map. So let me show you how this works. It's pretty simple. You simply go to chart options, you go to view, and then you hit this depth highlight down here. Then you want to go to a maximum depth. And in this case, let's see, I, I, I want to find fish a maximum out to about 14 feet of water. Then I set my minimum depth, and in this case I'm going to set, uh, let's say, about 8 feet here. So 8 feet. Let's go even a little tighter. 10 feet. So now what I've got on here, you can see this lighter area around this map. That's from 10 to 14 foot deep. So if people tell you, hey, I'm catching fish, 10 to 14, you can highlight that on your map. And what's cool is, especially like for walleyes, look at here how tight this white is. That tells you it's a steeper break. So this contour shading can help you very quickly pick out spots that you're hearing are catching fish or that you think that you want to fish. When we start talking about the GPS itself, as most of you know, there's an antenna inside of these units, an internal antenna that tracks the satellites. Now in the past, those satellites were tracked once every, one time every second. With the new update, just with software, they're now going to five updates. And what that gives you is a much more precise location of your boat for these units to figure out. So that's going to actually even help you a little bit with like say trolling speed. It's going to be a little bit more precise. But if you even want to be more precise than that, you can actually add an external antenna. The new one is called a point one. Okay, that point one, what it does is instead of taking five signals per second, it's going to do 10 signals per second. So again, twice as good as what that internal uh, satellite is going to do. But maybe more importantly, that antenna, that external antenna, now contains a magnetic compass in it. So now this unit doesn't have to go from spot to spot to tell where you're going. It actually uses that magnetic compass so it can tell if you're even moving a slight amount. It can even tell which direction your boat is pointing without it actually moving. So on the left hand side here I've got a unit with the point one antenna hooked up to it. This one does not have it. It just has the 2.0 release on it. So the cool thing is if I turn fairly sharp at a slow speed here, you'll see this one, the course over ground, very quickly adjust exactly the way I'm going. Whereas without the point one, it's lagging behind. That just shows you how much quicker that this point one is actually modifying or displaying your course over ground on the screen. Very, very quick. It makes it great for following things like waypoints and staying exactly on the spot. The other cool thing I saw when we were out here doing this is if you back up, you'll notice that the point one arrow 
keeps pointing the same direction because that's the way my boat is pointing. So the arrow, the icon actually is backing up just as I am doing as I'm, as I'm backing up with the boat. Whereas the one without point one, actually the arrow flips around and is showing the, the direction that we're actually moving. So this is giving you the true orientation of the boat. This point one stuff is really cool. So as you can see, this 2.0 upgrade, I mean, it's not only cool, but it gives us fishermen a lot of features that are gonna help us put more fish in the boat. That is a fat fish.